All right, well, hey, everybody. Uh, we're back. Uh, our friend Julie here offered to, to work through the, uh, help us go through the planetoids with Torque activity. So if, thanks for, for hanging on there. We just finished no recording the, uh, your immune system tower defense game, which, is, which I hope turns out pretty well. I'm also still a ghost, but everything's fine. You can see the words. Yeah, so on the minus sign, she has the green shirt that makes her look like a ghost in front of a green screen. On the plus side, she's wearing a Zelda shirt, which is awesome. So... It evens out. Exactly. Uh, I really like this game, so hopefully you watched the, the Planetoid series with Demetrius and Olivia. And so they... What we're going to do is we're going to start with the code that, that they ended with. So, yeah, so Julie, if you want to click there. Here. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and this, the link that Julie just clicked will be available uh, below the, the screen in the description. You can hit play. Round. Nope. So this is, is what they finished with in the Planetoids game. So this is basically the classic Asteroids game, uh, kind of our version of it, which has force and acceleration and velocity vectors, uh, except that, you know, you're actually working with the code and things like that. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to modify this thing so that uh, instead of just sort of changing the, the direction of the ship with the arrow keys, instead you're going to fire thrusters that's going to make it spin. Because in the real world, uh, in space, if something, something starts spinning, it's going to keep on spinning until you fire the thrusters to do something different. Um, and so we're going to make this a little bit more realistic, and I think at the end of the day it's going to be a bit more fun uh, to do it. And it's actually going to make the game harder. Yeah. So if you're because yeah, here you can just you know very finely control your movements, but it won't be quite that easy. Yeah. So you guys can look forward to that now. Uh, so Julie, do you want to look at the code real quick and see if there's uh, some, you know, how how similar or different it is from the plan choice game? See if there's some new variables. Uh and, yeah. And it looks like we've got. Um, and go ahead and uh, click this little down arrow thing I'm pointing to. Do you see I'm, I'm pointing right there? There's a little down oh, arrow. Thing. Oh, that thing. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha, so yeah, you can yeah. see the full screen. And then control yeah. plus can make the font a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna stand over here while you okay. look, take a look at that. Okay, so it looks like we've got uh, angular accelerations new, uh, L-ship, I-ship torque thrusters is new. Um, I do think you wanna, one you of these point is to that new. The screen? Yeah. Yeah, so I believe these are new, and I think, I think Theta we already had would make us new. Um, why don't you point to it with your hands? Oh, got. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess that would be easier to see than the. Gotcha. So we've got. It's so weird to. This is a little weird. Right. So these. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that. That those. What's behind my hand? And then the um, the. Th uh. Omega, I believe, is new. So you sort of get all a bunch in a row and then the one angle thing there. Okay. And then it looks like, um, yeah, that that code looks pretty similar to what we have before. So yeah, the rest of it looks pretty similar. Now, the first thing that we are going to do with this is, is we want to go where it says left arrow and right arrow, so which was right here. Right, and get rid of our old code. Uh, yeah, so instead of just changing theta every time we press that, uh, we're going to comment those out. So with two little slashes. Whenever you put slashes in front of something, it turns it into a comment so the computer doesn't actually run that code. And instead of that, uh, we're going to go back up here to the directions and we're going to copy, paste, uh, I forget what the code is, it's, it's uh, copy paste the angular acceleration is equal to the torque divided by the ship. So yeah, it's right there. All right, so that's for the left arrow. That's right. So if I just put that there, and then there was one for the right, oh yeah, right arrow. Oops. Ah. Oh well, that's okay. That's I deleted the comment, but it's alright because it's that's not fine. doing anything that would do anything code-wise. Right, now this is not going to do anything just yet. So like if you hit play, it's, it's, it's basically going to prevent you from rotating the ship at all. 
Right, because right. it's, it's just changing the angular acceleration, but it's not doing anything based on the angular acceleration. Right, so if we go back to this step-by-step step a second here, let me explain kind of what we're doing here. 